Guys, we finally made it to the jungle. You guys ready to capture some monkeys? Um, do we have to? I don't want to get eaten by a monkey. What are you talking about? Monkeys can't eat you. Guys, come on. We came all the way out here to the jungle. We can't quit now. Oh, yeah. It's going to be so much fun. Let's go. Let's go. I can't wait to get a monkey as a pet. I've wanted one for so long. Okay, but I've never captured a monkey before. How does this work? Okay, well, pretty much, guys, what we got to do is go deeper into the jungle, and we have to be super quiet. We have to act like we're not even here, because if the monkeys see us, they're just gonna start running away. Oh, you don't have to worry about me. I'm, I'm just a piece of bamboo. Yep, yep, yep. We gotta stay very still. No sudden movements, because if a monkey catches you, it's just gonna run, and, and we don't want that to happen, because we wanna capture them. So, let's just keep going until we find a monkey. They're not that difficult to find. You just gotta keep an eye out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe Kim will have an easier time finding one, because he looks like a banana. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. And wait, speaking about bananas, did you guys bring new equipment? Oh, yeah, I brought mine. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Ruby, did you bring your thing? I already ate my equipment. But Ruby, you're not supposed to eat the banana. That was supposed to be for capturing the monkey. Oh my gosh. We were on the boat for so long and I got hungry. Okay, well, fine. We can use Cam instead. He kind of looks like a banana, but let's just keep on going. We have to be super careful. Remember, no sudden movements. And what do you mean by use me as a banana? Are you going to try and uh, let them eat me? And, and, no, no, no. You're not going to actually get eaten. You're just going to be used as the bait, okay? It's nothing bad, but here we go. We just got to keep going. Everyone, keep your eyes out. Look on the top of trees. That's usually where the monkeys are hanging out. I heard something. I heard something. Wait, is there any monkeys around here? Um, Those are birds, dude. Relax. Is that a monkey? Uh, no, it's an ant. Ah, get that away from me. Guys, you have to be very observant if you want to be successful at monkey hunting. And Oh, no. Guys, that, that is a wild mosquito. Stay back. Stay back. That, those things have diseases. Uh, don't worry about me. I've got my eyes peeled. Yeah, just like that banana you ate. Oh, come on. All right. Well, let's just keep on looking. If anyone brought a telescope or something, that would be kind of useful. Uh, guys, hold on. I think there's one right over there. <gasps> Crikey, guys, we got a big one. Wait, wait, let me see, let me see. Move, move, move. Look at him, look at him. Okay, remember, guys, no sudden movements. Be careful. He's on that tree over there. Check it out. Where? I don't see it. Ruby, Ruby, stop jumping, stop jumping. No sudden movements. And keep your voice down. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh. Okay, but where? Up on that tree. How do you not see it? It's literally a gorilla. I don't think that's even a monkey. Oh my gosh, that is huge. I didn't know what gorillas could climb. I thought they were just on the ground. Uh, guys, it, it, it's looking at us. Um, I think it knows that we're here. <laughs> it's not looking at me because I'm hiding. Bye. Uh, uh, well, okay, let's just get to it really carefully. Cam, you still have the lead, right? Wait, Cam, where are you? I'm hiding, dude. Okay, okay, just be ready to capture him with the lead as soon as we get close. We just got to pull up over here. Guys, I'm going to try climbing the tree he's on. Okay, well, be careful. All right, all right. I just gotta go over here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, all right. Here, come on. I just gotta climb up over here. Hey, monkey. I I'm just a friendly uh, human. I'm not here to hurt you. Dash, he jumped on the other tree. And wait, wait. He's not on this tree anymore. Where did he go? And Oh, wait, I see him over there. Okay, okay, come on. We can still capture this one. We just gotta be very careful with our movements. And he's running! Okay, you know what, guys? Just run! Get him, get him, get him! Chase him, chase him, chase him! Come here, come here, come here! I'm chasing him with the lead! Come on, gorilla. I have a fresh monkey peel. I mean, banana peel. Come here, gorilla. We're gonna get you. Oh, there he is, there he is! Okay, keep chasing him, keep chasing him. Kim, where are you? You need to be the bait, remember? I'm trying to catch up. I lost you guys in the trees. You're the banana. You have to act like a banana. Uh, what do you want me to do? Just lay down and go flat? I don't know. What do banana? Bananas do. I don't know. I, 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 I don't really make a noise. And they're like, uh, they grow on trees. Wait, wait, hold on. Where did it go? I think it went this way. Oh, there it is. It's going near the forest over there. Come here, gorilla. We're going to get you. <laughs> he's running. He's running. We're going to get this one. This one is so big. I want him. Well, all right, get him. Wait, wait, wait. You guys are both running ahead. Hang on. And oh, no, guys. He's going on the trees. He's going on the trees. He's doing more tree parkour. He's going this way. Well, get him, Dash. What are you doing? I don't have a lead, Kim. You're the one with the lead. You need to get him. I can't do anything. Come on, come on. I just got to climb up this tree and wait a minute hold on where, where did it go it was just on this tree um i don't see him i only see purple and that's coming from you wait wait, wait. come on he's gotta be somewhere around here everyone look around look around keep your eyes peeled um he can't be too far from here oh hi ruby do you see him over there um i don't see him over here no but i see cam oh no wait hold on did we actually just lose him no that one was so big i don't see a monkey nearby that did you guys lose him i told you getting a monkey for a pet was a bad idea dash guys i really wanted that monkey now we lost him what do we do uh i think we have to focus on more than just losing him I think we're lost. And wait, wait, wait. Why, what do you mean we're lost? Uh, we can make our way back and... 
Oh, no. Wait a minute. Hold on. I think you might actually be right. Guys, hold on. Does anyone remember where we ran from? Nope. I have no clue. I was too busy trying to catch up to keep track. Oh, no. Uh, okay, well, hold on a minute, guys. I think we came from uh, this way over here. I kind of remember that mountain. I, I, I'm pretty sure that's the way we came from. Let's just go that way. Not too sure. I don't remember any of this. No, no, no. Guys, guys, trust me. I remember. We just got to go uh, this way. I'm pretty sure we just left our boats over here next to this water. Uh, Dash. What? I fell into the Ravine. Oh, no, Ruby, get out of there. You can't be getting stuck like that. You have to be careful. We're in the jungle. Help, help, help. Just swim in the water. Swim in the water. Uh, uh, easier said than done. Get up here, Ruby. Okay, okay, okay. I, I think I'm safe now, but that was terrifying. Okay, okay. Well, let's just keep on going. I think we left our boats right over here. Oh, gosh, guys. We did not leave our boats over here. I think we're actually lost. Oh, no. Oh, no. I told you it was a bad idea. Yeah. Oh, man, come on. I just wanted to have a monkey as a pet. Is that too much to ask for? No, I have to live off of cocoa beans and cocoa butter forever. What the heck? But, oh, gosh, guys, it's going to start getting dark soon. And then a bunch of mobs are going to start spawning. We got to build some sort of shelter to protect ourselves. Oh, yeah, there's going to be, like, tigers and lions trying to eat us. Oh, no, there's going to be, like, oh, gosh. Okay, this is horrible. Guys, where do we build our base so that lions and tigers and bears and stuff like that aren't going to be able to eat us? And, oh. Wait a minute, guys. Why don't we build our base on top of one of these trees? We can build a tree house. Will that protect us from the tigers? I'm so scared. I don't think tigers can climb trees. I think the only jungle mobs that can climb trees are like panda bears. And panda bears are like harmless. You don't know that. Hey, it's a lot better than a lion or a tiger, though. What about monkeys? They can climb also, you know. I would love it if a monkey tried to climb our tree. We were trying to look for one. It ran away from us. Do you not remember? Yeah, but what if we're sleeping in the middle of the night and a monkey tries to climb our tree? And then it eats our faces off. Guys, guys, that's not going to happen. Happen. Okay, monkeys are a lot better than that. But here, why don't we build it on this tree over here? This tree is probably the tallest one around this area. I think it's a pretty good area. Oh, wait, actually, that tree is taller. Let's go on that one. Oh, man, I keep on falling off the tree. It's kind of hard to climb them, but I think I've got the hang of it. Let me just make a leap onto this vine over here. Come on. Yes, I made it. Okay, now we just got to climb the top of this tree. And hey, guys, check it out. We got the tallest tree in the jungle. Well, uh, at least uh, around this general area. Yeah, if we wanted the tallest tree in the jungle, I think there's one up there. Yeah, okay, we are not going all the way there. But anyways, guys, I guess now it's time to start building this tree house. Ooh, what do we build it out of? Uh, good question. Oh, guys, why don't we build it out of some jungle wood? Since, you know, we're literally inside of the jungle. Here, the first thing we should probably do is set all of the floor of this tree into some jungle wood. Oh, yeah, so we have a good stable platform. Yep, yep, yep. We need to have a good foundation for our tree house that we can build everything else on top of. Or else the tree house is going to be unstable and everything will topple over and we're not going to survive. Oh, my gosh, I feel so much safer. This is the best house for me. I'm just going to stay right here. Uh uh, Ruby, are you, are you building yourself in a box? <laughs> no, that's a horrible shelter. It's my monkey protection, okay? You're gonna run out of air in there. You, you're literally boxing yourself off. I have a window. It's right here. Yeah, but what if a bird flies through? I don't want to hear it. Or what if a spider goes inside? Then you're gonna be in a lot of trouble. Stop! What if there's already spiders inside of there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't be in a box of fire. You guys, we gotta build a very nice looking tree house if we wanna survive and have fun. So let's go ahead and just extend the floor a little bit. We can make it kind of big. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need a big platform because there's three of us living here. Yep, we're gonna need to have a lot of space. And ooh, guys, we can even expand onto the other trees. Check it out. This tree is literally at the same height as our current tree that we're on. So we can just expand to it. Oh, yeah. Check it out. I'm about to bridge over to it. Let's go, speed bridging. We can have like different rooms of the tree house. We can have a whole kitchen. We can have bedrooms. We can have uh, a, a washroom. That sounds like a really good idea. And um, let's see here. Uh, This is a very big platform. And yep, it's kind of big. There's going to be three of us living on here. So, you know, we need a lot of space. Okay. Let's just fill in all of the blocks over here. And all right, this platform is looking pretty good. And ooh, guys, guys, we should set the walls of this place into some glass. That way we can have a cool view of the entire jungle. It could look really sick. Oh, yes, it's going to look awesome. We can literally just have all of the walls of the entire our house made out of glass. This could look pretty crazy. Let's go ahead and put down all of this glass around over here. And, uh, oh gosh, wait. Are you sure glass is gonna be fine though, guys? What if, like, a bird flies into it and smashes the glass? I do not want to hear about it. I don't think a bird will. Okay, okay, yeah. I think it's probably worth the risk because, you know, it's a very nice view. And if a bird breaks in, we can just eat it. But anyways, now we gotta set a roof. So, let's set the roof into some, ooh, what about we set it into some jungle slabs? That way we have a lot of space. Ooh, okay. We just put that up bunch of jungle slabs over here on the ceiling. And 
and boom, there we go. The roof is complete. And guys, now that the roof, walls, and floor are complete, the base of our treehouse is fully done. Let's go. Now we can start decking out the inside. Finally. Okay, uh, is this our main living room or what? And yeah, I guess this could be the main living room area, but hold on a minute. We don't really have a way to actually get up to here. Guys, we gotta add a door or something. And ooh, why don't we just have a ladder that goes all the way down? Or a staircase. What? No, a staircase is a bad idea because then any mob is gonna be able to climb it. I don't think a lion can climb a ladder though. Yeah, I can go up a ladder faster than stairs. Yeah, I guess that could work. All right, all right, well, here, what we gotta do is put down a bunch of blocks over here going all the way down to the floor. Oh, wait, we kind of have to break into this tree a little bit. Here we go. Let's put down all these blocks. And then the next thing we gotta do is put a bunch of ladders on them. And, ooh, wait, 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 guys, hold on. Instead of ladders, I think I have a better idea. Why don't we build a water elevator? Wait, a water elevator? How are we gonna do that? Well, check it out. Pretty much what we need to do is put some soul sand down here, and then uh, we gotta surround all of this with glass. We gotta build a big glass tube going up. But wait, uh, can't the lions just, like, walk into this and be brought straight to our front door? Uh, I think we should be fine. Lions are gonna be too big to fit in here, probably, and the lions are scared of water, you know? Technically, they're cats. Uh, Alright, I guess. We should be good, but here, let's go ahead and grab some signs, and we could just put down two signs right over here like this, and then the next thing we gotta do is put down a bunch of water inside of this tube. So, let me just go ahead and... Kip, can you move for a sec? Let me put a piece of glass over there, and then a bunch of water like this this and okay check it out now we should have a fully working water elevator oh wait actually not yet we need to fill up all of the blocks with water let's just put a bunch of water down over here like this and okay check it out now we've got a fully working water elevator check it out whenever we go on it it'll push you up oh wait hold on i think i missed a few blocks there we go now it's fully working let's go there we go we can go down over here and oh hold on a minute let me add a few signs over here so the water doesn't leak there we go and now if i go in i can go up let's go this is awesome let's go but guys, we're also gonna need a way to get down. Why don't we build another tube right over here for getting down? And we don't even have to fill this tube up with water. What we could do is just go all the way down to the bottom and just put a single water bucket down here so that we can just land in it and not take any fall damage. Ooh, work smarter, not harder. Exactly, but here, let's go ahead and build some walls for this tube. We can just build it out of the same stuff as the other tube. We can use glass and jungle planks. There we go. And all right, I think our elevator system is working. This is actually sick. Wait, I wanna try it. Let's go and... Uh... Uh, oh, there's no hole at the top. Yeah, no, Ruby, you have to do it from inside of the house. You gotta go in here, and then you can go down from this one, and then you could also go up from this one. Let's go. Okay, let me just put this glass back. I'm gonna go down. Let's go. Wee! Let's go! Oh, this elevator is so fun! All right, all right. But anyways, now that we actually have a way for getting up and down the treehouse, we gotta start decking out the inside. So, uh, first things first, we need to decide what food we're gonna eat, because that's kind of like the most important thing for survival. So, uh, guys, what type of food are we gonna be living off? I want more bananas. Bananas? Okay, okay, fine. I guess we can have a few bananas, but wait, wait, Ruby! Bananas are gonna attract the monkeys. Are you sure you want to be taking that risk? They're gonna be inside. They can't smell them from here. I mean, we kind of do have a big hole that goes all the way down over there. They might be able to smell them, but... No, it's fine. Let's just do it. Before I change my mind. <laughs> okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. We can have some bananas, but uh, what other types of food do we need? Guys, we're gonna need some nutritious stuff because, you know, we're living out in the jungle, so what about we have some steak and some steak sausages? Yo, this is sick. Wait, we can use that for jungle stew. You guys are picking weird food. I'm gonna go with a, a baguette. Well, you're saying we're picking weird food? Kim, that is the weirdest food here. It's like a long piece of bread. <laughs> what? Exactly. It's more nutritious. Wait, how much attack damage does this do? Oh, what? You can't use it as a weapon? It's food. It is really long. Just look at how big it is. Hold on a minute. I'm gonna grab an anvil. I'm gonna try enchanting this with sharpness. I don't think you can do that to bread. Want it just break in half? I'm about to make the most dangerous baguette ever. Yo, guys, check it out. I got a sharpness baguette. <laughs> I don't know about that one. This is gonna be my weapon. In case we have any mobs breaking in here, they're getting hit with my baguette. Yo, wait, slide that over. I want to eat it. <laughs> Why? You're going to eat it? Oh, no. Tell me what it tastes like. Mmm. Painful. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, it's probably because it's got sharpness on it. But hold on a minute, guys. We got to have some, like, storage for all of this food. Let me go ahead and grab a few refrigerators. Let's grab some barrels, too. Yeah, we could just make a kitchen for all this. And yeah, yeah. Let's make a kitchen. Let's make a kitchen. What we could do is grab a few glass panes. And let's just separate a little area over here in the side of our house for the kitchen. Let's just have this entire side be for the kitchen. So there we go. We can have a little wall of some glass panes. And then we can have a little entrance, like 
like this. There we go. That's looking pretty good. Awesome. All right. Now we can put this stuff over here for the kitchen. Yep, yep, yep. Let's put down a fridge. We can put down some uh, barrels on top like that. Ooh, guys, we need to have some kitchen countertops. So why don't we use some of these jungle kitchen countertops? Look at these. These look sick. Ooh, okay, okay. Uh, we need a sink. Ooh, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. We need a sink. We also need to have some of these cabinets, which we can just use some of these jungle cabinets for. Ooh, this is looking really nice. And ooh, wait, guys. We also need to have an oven. Let's just put this oven down right over there. And nice. That's looking pretty good. That's a cake oven. Wait, is it a cake oven? Oh. And wait, I have another idea. Wait, what is it? Um, give me one second. In, and let's take uh, some of this and some of that. Okay, you ready? And okay, wait, what are you gonna do? Uh, okay, I'm just gonna do a little bit of this and a little bit of that and uh, break some of these. And wait, wait, what are you building here? What are you building? I'm building a fire. Yo, wait, a fireplace? That's actually kind of a cool idea. I'm not gonna lie. Hold on, hold on. We should probably extend all these bricks to go up to the roof so that we don't have any smoke getting stuck inside of the house because that's kind of dangerous. Yep, and uh, let's put on some stairs in front of it just so that we have some safety measures in place. All right, there we go. Ooh, that's looking pretty good. We can use this for cooking our food in case we need to, but ooh, wait a minute, guys. This also gives me an idea. We should make a little balcony area where we can have, like, a grill. <gasps> yes, I love grilling. Yo, let's go, let's go. All right, here, let's put a little balcony area here. Before we do that, I'm just gonna put all of this food inside of our fridge. Let me put the steak, the steak sausage, and the banana, and oh, wait, Cam, you wanted baguettes, right? I guess we can put some of those in there, too. Yeah. Let me just put those baguettes in here. There we go, and all right, now it's balcony time. We gotta make this the most epic balcony ever. Okay, you work on that and uh, I'll watch. What, Ruby, you're not gonna help? No, 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 no. I'm thinking, I'm thinking about what kind of furniture to put on this balcony. It's very important. Oh, oh okay. You're gonna be the furniture person? Alright, that works. Here, I'll build the actual fences for the balcony. Let's put a bunch of this jungle fence around here like that. And, ooh, guys, we also need to have some chairs and stuff. Ooh, what about we use some of these garden chairs? These look kinda cool. We can have, like, a few garden chairs right over here like this. We can have, uh, two there, one over here like that. I'll get the one in the front because, you know, I'm cool. Okay, all right. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I've, I've got it. And wait, wait. Have you picked what furniture we're going to use? All right, let's see it. Let's see it. Yep. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, I don't like this chair placement. We're going to get rid of... Wait, are these chairs alive? Yeah, these chairs are alive. You need to use a sword to get rid of them. I got it. There we go. Let's get rid of all those. What the heck? That was scary. Yeah, Ruby, we're in the jungle. Everything's alive in here. I don't want to think about that, but uh, here are some bushes, and uh, we can put some trap doors around them to make them look nice and neat. And okay, okay, okay. That's not bad. And and then after that, uh, let's see, we need to put down some benches. So, I'm just gonna put one right uh, here so we can see the view. Ooh, okay, okay, that's pretty good, pretty good. I see the vision. And then a closet uh, in case we need uh, some supplies for... Well, wait, 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 a, a closet? Okay, you kind of lost me here. A closet on the balcony? Yes, a closet for the balcony. Oh, <laughs> no, Ruby, we don't need a closet for the balcony. How about we have that indoors? Uh, I was gonna say you could put in some, like, binoculars and, like, some grappling hooks and stuff, but whatever. Why don't we just put that in, like, a normal barrel? Why do we need a closet? Okay, well, what if we use this crate, huh? Okay, okay, yeah, that, that, that crate looks pretty good, and whoa, Cam, I see you're cooking on the grill over here. Whoa, what are you making? Making some burgers. Yo, wait, steak burgers? Oh, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, in just a few seconds, uh, almost. Okay, okay, hold on, let me know when it's ready, but okay, okay, this area's looking pretty nice, Ruby. I see we got the chairs here, and then the bench, and then, ooh, the crate, nice. All right, they're ready. And yo, let's go, steak. This is awesome, hold on, I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna do a food test real quick, and... Okay, I'm not bad, not bad. I mean, I've had better, but for being in a jungle, that's pretty good. I'll give it like an 8 out of 10. Yep, and let's uh, put another table here for Kim to use to cook with. All right, nice. I think this balcony is looking pretty good. It's looking a little bit cramped out here, but uh, it's fine. We can just make it a little bit bigger. Guys, I've got one more idea for what we should build on the balcony. Oh, uh, what? We gotta build an archer tower in case we have any mobs around here that we need to get rid of. Oh, I see. Okay, we can put some arrows and stuff in that crate I put down earlier. Yeah, guys, we need to have some defenses. We can't just be out here in the jungle unarmed here. Let me go ahead and grab a barrel real quick. And I'm just going to put a few bows inside of this barrel. Let me grab a bow real quick. We can uh, just have a barrel on each side over here with a bunch of bows in it. And then also, let's grab a few arrows. And I'll just put that in this barrel right over here. And then what we could do is, let me grab a few slabs. Let's set the fence over here into slabs so that whoever's using the bow can have a good view of all of the mobs that we need to get rid of. Okay, and now that we have more room, uh, I can put down a bigger table. Yo, let's go! Why don't we put one of these here? 
Yo, 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 what is that? Uh, it's called a heavy crossbow. What the heck? A heavy crossbow. Hold on a minute. Uh, I don't think we should put that on the table, but why don't we use this heavy crossbow as defenses? We could like put it around the area where we like get up. Oh yeah, that sounds awesome. And wait, 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 hold on. We have to test out this heavy crossbow first. Let me just put one down uh, over here for testing purposes and let me grab a zombie spawn egg. Let's see, is this thing gonna do a lot of damage to the zombie? Yo, it, it, it just one shot at it. What? This should definitely protect us. We need to put like three of these down. Whoa, okay, okay, yeah. Three of these sounds good. And oh, uh, even even the turrets are alive. What? Uh, man, everything is really alive in the jungle, huh? Oh, no, I don't want to think about it. Ruby, you got to be careful of everything you do in the jungle. You never know what's out to try to eat you. <laughs> Rule number one of the jungle. Everything is trying to eat you, even the grass. Okay, whatever. All right, all right. But anyways, we've got three of these crossbows around our entrance now. I think this should be good to stop any predators trying to get in. Let me go ahead and put down a zombie over here to see how... Oh, it just instantly gets taken out. Okay, there is no way any lions are going to be able to survive that either. This is so sick. Let's go, let's go. But wait, wait, hold on a minute. How's the balcony looking? I haven't seen it in a while. Let me pull up. And ooh, whoa. You're putting some leaves here. That looks pretty cool. <gasps> wait a minute. You know what else we should do? We should put some redstone lamps on there. Oh, okay. We got to put some lighting on the ceiling in case it turns dark. We could just have like uh, one redstone lamp over here and then we could uh, have another one over here. Ooh, yeah, this is looking nice. So I have one over there, another one over here, and then we could power them all with levers and all right what do you guys think of that the color is really good with everything that looks sick yeah everything's actually working really good together this is looking awesome but oh, wait ruby i have one question what what is this seating arrangement here what what's wrong with it this is the most ugly seating arrangement i've ever seen here how about we just move the seats in the middle like this and actually wait let's make the table a little bit bigger we can make the table like three uh blocks tall no 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 you're ruining the feng shui of everything what the feng shui Wait, Ruby, this, this, this looks horrible. Let's at least center the chairs over here. Okay, okay. Well, that's the only thing you can change. <laughs> okay, okay, fine. But hold on a minute. Let's see. Is there any decorations we can put on the table? Ooh, what about like a flower pot or something? Yo, what about an aquatic flower pot? Ooh, I think that might have been the best idea you've ever had. What? No, this is a horrible idea. Look how big it is. The person sitting here is not going to have any room to eat. And well, what do you suggest then? Okay, what about we put the aquatic flower pot over here? Yeah, we can put like two of them like that. And then, ooh, wait, I'm pretty sure we can put coral inside of this. Yo, that looks kind of cool. Mm, I don't like the color of this coral. Let's choose a different coral. Oh, yeah, good idea, good idea. I don't like this one either. What about we use uh, the bubble coral? It's purple. Ooh. Uh, what? You can't put it inside of this. Oh, no. Oh, man. What about this one? Oh, wait, this one works. This one works. Nice. All right, let's do that then. All right, that's looking pretty good. And ooh, this ceiling is also looking sick. We got all of the lights. Let's go. This is like and sick. All right, but anyways, guys, we got the balcony done. We've got the kitchen uh, pretty much done. Oh, wait, hold on. We should also build a table indoors just in case it's raining outside. Yeah, and if you don't like my table so much, then build your own. And yeah, yeah, I will build my own here. Check it out. What we're going to do is build this one three blocks like this, and then we could have uh, four chairs around it so it all looks even. Uh, I feel bad for this one. Uh, no, this person is going to get a lot of heating on their butt. Yeah, that's why I feel bad for him. Uh, wait, no, now we can't cook anything in the fire anymore. Okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. We can move it. But honestly, we don't even need that chair. There's only three of us. We can just have this many chairs. Alrighty, that looks good. Let's go! But anyways, guys, I think the balcony and kitchen is pretty much done. We've got all of our food settled out, except, wait a minute, what are we gonna do when we run out of food? Hmm, what will we do? I think we're gonna have to go hunting. And yeah, exactly. Guys, we need to go hunting to get more food, so we should probably build a room for, like, hunting gear. Okay, uh, do we build it in here? And yeah, yeah, here, what I'm thinking, we can build it the same style as the kitchen. We can just have some glass panes over here like this. This is looking like a very modern uh, treehouse, I will say. And oh wait, Ruby, hold on. We could use those wardrobes that you wanted to use earlier here. Let me just grab a few of these wardrobes and ooh, wait a minute. There's a bunch of different types. I didn't know that. I'm gonna use this uh, crimson one. Oh wait, is this the living one? Oh no, it's not. My bad. Uh, but did you just break my wardrobe? No, the wardrobe wasn't living. I wanted to see if it was the living one. Is there a living wardrobe? Hold on, I want to use the living one. Can it walk? I don't want to use that one. Okay, okay, but hold on a minute, guys. Everyone put down your wardrobes. Put down your wardrobes. We gotta put some gear down. Let's see. What type of armor is gonna be good for surviving in the jungle? And whoa, wait a minute, guys. I found ghillie suit armor. Yo, check it out. We can, like, camouflage with, like, the trees and stuff. That is actually the perfect thing. We should have had this when we were trying to catch that gorilla earlier. Oh, no. I mean, you were in charge of uh, getting all the gear. Hey, actually, if I gave this gear 
to you guys, Ruby probably would have eaten it. What? I don't eat leaves? I mean, you ate the other gear that I told you to bring. How is a banana? It doesn't count. Banana leaves, same thing. But hold on a minute. I'm definitely going to put a set of this stuff inside of my wardrobe. Let me put one set of this ghillie suit armor in there. Boom. And okay, I've got room for two other sets of armor. What other types of armor should we use? I don't know about you guys, but I'm going to try some crocodile armor. And, whoa, 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 whoa. Crocodile armor? Wait, are you wearing a crocodile right now? I think so, yeah. What the? Okay, crocodile armor sounds pretty crazy, but wait, how's that going to help you in the jungle? Um, it'll help me camouflage, but also it's really strong compared to the ghillie suit. Okay, okay, yeah, that seems like a good idea. And speaking about camouflage, I think I know what I'm going to wear for camouflage as well. Let me just grab a set of all this and, okay, guys, check it out. I'm calling this the ultimate jungle camouflage set. Check me out. Yo! Okay, dash... You look stupid. What? No, I don't. This is the ultimate way to camouflage in a jungle. What are you guys talking about? I've got my big turtle shell on my back. I've got a, a deer antlers. Uh, I've got the cave centipede leggings. And I've also got roadrunner boots, which make me faster on sand. First of all, um, things with antlers are found in the forest, not the jungle. And turtles belong to the ocean. And we're not in a desert. And what? Uh, no, I don't know what you're talking about. This camouflages perfectly with everything here. I, I've totally seen a lot of turtles in the jungle. What about me? And what in the world is Cam wearing? What is this? Are those Crocs? Yo. Well, what are you wearing? What are those shoes? They're like alive. They got wings. Uh, it's called the flying fish boots. Uh, they enable gliding when I jump out of the water. And I've got the unsettling kimono that makes uh, most undead creatures neutral. And also the pants make me like uh, invulnerable to projectile damage. And then the hat's just stylish. What in the world? Okay, wait, I don't think that hat belongs anywhere inside of a jungle. Oh, I also have this one. And, uh, uh, what the heck is that? Dude, you look like a unicorn. It's a narwhal head. What is a narwhal? Uh, a narwhal's or an ocean thing. Okay, well, guys, I think this armor is very interesting. Whoa! What, what, what in the world is going on? Yo! Check it out, guys. I've gone inside of my shell. I'm rolling around. This is sick. Okay, maybe your armor is a little cool now. Yo, I can, like, bounce around while I'm rolling. I'm like a turtle. Okay, hold on a minute. I think this armor is definitely good. I'm gonna put a whole set of this inside of my wardrobe. Let me just put a full set of that in here. Boom! There we go. But, okay, I've still got one slot left for some other armor. I need to find some actual, like, strong armor. I've got some camouflage armor but I need something like good for fighting now. Mm, I have these long fall boots. It cancels out fall damage. And whoa, long fall boots. Ooh, wait, these actually look kind of cool. But wait, how much armor did they give you? Oh, only plus three armor. I got to find something better than that. Yeah, but they seem pretty useful for being in the jungle. Yeah, they seem all right. But <gasps> whoa, bat armor. Wait, wait, hold on. I want to check out some of this bat armor. This looks kind of cool. It gives you a bunch of armor. It gives you plus eight armor for the chest plate. Let me put a full set of this on and <gasps> yo, guys, check it out. I'm Batman. Wait, you're Batman? Yeah, yeah. Look, I'm a bat. Uh, you don't even look like Batman. You you look like a... I don't even know what you look like. I think you look like a super villain. What? Uh, okay, well, hold on a minute. This armor is kind of OP, so I think I'm going to use it. But hold on a minute, guys. We've got some armor, but we also need some weapons and, like, you know, other gear that we're going to need to survive in the jungle. What other stuff should we put inside? Oh, I'm getting a grappling hook. Check this out. And, whoa, okay, okay, yeah. A grappling hook definitely seems like a good idea. But here, I'm going to go ahead and grab a barrel real quick. And I'm just going to put a barrel next to my wardrobe like that. And inside of this barrel, I'll put all of my weapons and gear. So first things first, I got to find a cool sword I could use and oh, what in the world is this long sword of the plague yo guys check it out my sword has a plague what? Uh, keep it away from me take this yeah 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 you're about to get infected all right well and wait whoa whoa Kim what is that it's called the harbinger what the heck that's a weird name but hold on a minute I think there's like a lot of crazy swords like this let me find them real quick where are the crazy swords oh there they are whoa wait a minute there's one called the brimstone claymore yo this thing looks crazy it's like on fire and stuff yeah check mine out super sick hold on wait I'm gonna grab two swords as well I'm gonna grab the stormbringer and then this fire one over here. I'm gonna dual wield them. Yo, check it out. I got two swords. Whoa, what the heck did that one just do? I don't know, but wait, whenever I hold this one, I get speed and strength. Wait a minute, hold on. Whenever I use this one in my left hand, it gives me absorption. Okay, that's kind of cool. I'm gonna put this inside of my barrel. Let me just put this stuff inside of the barrel. Boom, there we go. And okay, the next thing I need is a good bow because, you know, range damage is also gonna be important. So I'm just gonna grab myself a crossbow real quick. And here, I'm gonna make sure to enchant it with like an anvil and stuff. I'm gonna grab the power five enchantment. Um, uh, I'm gonna grab infinity. Let me grab a lot of other bow enchantments are good. Ooh, flame. Oh, wait, also multi-shot. That's gonna be good for a crossbow. And all right, let me put all of this stuff onto the crossbow real quick. There we go. Let's get all of this. And okay, sick. Guys, I just made the most OP crossbow ever. Hold on, can I test it on one of you? Uh, what? Check this out. Yo! Hey, what are you doing? I was testing my crossbow. Hold on, wait, wait, guys. I'm gonna test it on a pig. Let me spawn in a pig over here and just use my crossbow on it. Actually, wait, let me spawn in three pigs. I've got multi-shots, so I can shoot three arrows at once. Yo! I just hit all 
all three of them at once. That was awesome. Wait, that's crazy. Wait, is this a bow? And whoa, Kim, what the heck is that? I don't know. It's called the war glaive. I, I, it's not a bow. It's like blinking. It's got two eyes on it. What the heck? I don't know. I was looking for a bow, but I guess that one's all right. Yeah, you got to use an enchanted crossbow. Crossbows are OP, but here, I'm going to put this inside of my barrel. There we go. And okay, what's the next thing I need? Oh, wait, arrows. Those are going to be very important. If you use a bow, don't forget arrows. So uh, what type of arrows are the best? Hmm. <gasps> Yo, guys, there's a shark tooth arrow. Hold on, I'm gonna use this. It seems very jungle themed. Is there any bows that are different from a crossbow and a normal bow? I wanna use something different. Wait, guys, I'm gonna put a telescope in my chest. And whoa, wait, wait, that's actually a good idea. And uh, <laughs> Ruby, I, I, I think you're a bit too close. The whole point of a telescope is that you go like really far away and then you can see stuff. Stop moving, I'm studying your eyebrows. What? <laughs> what? Wow, so close, so realistic. <laughs> what? Uh, Ruby, I think you're using it as like a microscope now. You can like see the molecules. Yep, I'm seeing you pixel for pixel and whoa you're really close yeah but whoa wait Kim, you're putting a trident in your thing that sounds like a cool idea not just one i'm putting two what the why two uh, so i can have one that i can throw and then i have one that i can use to like swim around with Ooh, okay okay that seems kind of cool but hold on i'm gonna put a spyglass inside on my thingy as well i think a spyglass is gonna be pretty clutch especially in the jungle you know since we can look around and see everything that's going on but here let me put one inside boom there we go i'm going to use mine to look directly at the sun and, uh, whoa, whoa, Okay, Ruby, I don't think that's very healthy. I don't think, dude, uh, don't do that. It burns! That, 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 that doesn't seem like a good idea, but hold on a minute. Guys, don't forget to put enchanted golden apples in your barrels. That's gonna be very clutch. Oh, yeah, can't forget about those. And, yo, 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 wait, hold on. Instead of just normal enchanted golden apples, guys, check it out. I found enchanted golden apple ice cream, enchanted golden apple donuts, enchanted golden apple ice blocks. I don't know what that is. And guys, we got enchanted golden apple icing. Yo, you can drink it. I'm gonna take, um, I'm gonna take the donuts. Oh my gosh, this is awesome! I'm gonna take the enchanted golden apple ice block. I don't even know what an ice block is, but it looks kind of cool. I'm just gonna put it all around over here in my barrel. And all right, what else? What else? We need to find some other good gear that we can put inside of our barrels. Uh, what about totems of undying? Oh yeah, yeah, totems of undying are gonna be clutch because they're pretty much gonna just give us a new life if we die. So everyone, make sure to put those in your barrel. And all right, I think my barrel is fully decked out. Let's go! All right, and yeah, mine's done too. Let's go! And uh, oh, what are you guys holding? right now. What the heck is that? Oh, it's my shield. It's my skateboard. What? Why, why do you have a skateboard? We're going through the jungle? What? What else would I have it for? Ruby, I, I don't think a skateboard is going to be good on a jungle. I think it, it, those are better on, like, a road. You have no idea. What? <laughs> um, okay, you stay safe with that. You should probably wear a helmet. I'm going to ollie on all the trees. All right, but anyways, guys, I think our hunting room is pretty much done. We've got everything that we'll ever need in here for hunting. But hunting is pretty dangerous. And what if we don't want to leave the house to get food? And, uh, well, what else are we going to do? How else are we going to get food? Well, I mean, we could just make a farm somewhere. And <gasps> wait a minute. Minute. A farm? That's actually genius. I completely forgot that we could build a farm. Guys, why don't we build it over here off to the side of the kitchen? Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, we can make it like a multi-floor farm with all the plants we could ever need. Yep, yep, yep. We gotta have every single plant that we'll ever need on here. So, uh, here. First things first, I guess let's go ahead and build a big platform out of some wood. And then we gotta make sure to fill the inside with a bunch of grass. Mm, how big is this thing gonna be? We should probably make it pretty big, right? If it's gonna be one of our main sources of food. We don't wanna have to run out of food ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Starving would be very bad. So here, let's just go ahead and fill in all of this with a bunch of grass. Okay. And wait a minute, guys. Hold on. We should make this an automatic farm. Wait, wait, wait. What we have to do is make the grass like slanted. Wait, what? That's way too complicated for my brain. No, no, guys. It's gonna be a good idea. Pretty much what we have to do is every seven blocks we have to make the farm go up a little bit like that. Uh, Alright. This is gonna be complicated, I guess. And, no, guys. It's not complicated. It's actually really simple. Wait, Ruby. What are you doing down here? Why are you putting another layer of grass? I was putting it down because then I thought we were gonna put water on this regular farm but now we're doing this redstone thing and I don't understand. <laughs> Ruby, even if we were gonna build a normal farm, you don't need to put down all of this grass. You only need to put down grass under where we're gonna put the water. Yeah. But, like, it looks not neat from the bottom, and we're gonna be on the jungle floor a lot. All right, all right. But anyways, guys, the next thing we need to do for our automatic farm is add a few dispensers. Pretty much the way it's gonna work is we're gonna have some dispensers filled with water over here. And then whenever we activate them, the water is gonna go down and harvest all the crops for us automatically. That was a lot of words. Guys, it's really simple. Everyone put water in these dispensers. That's what we gotta do. Okay, well, show me your magic. It's not magic. It's just simple redstone. We gotta put some water in all of these dispensers like this. Boom. There we go. I think they're all filled 
filled up. Uh, okay, now they're all filled up. Now the next thing we need to do is put some blocks behind all of the dispensers and a little bit of redstone. There we go, just like that. And then let me grab a button. And all right, guys, check this out. Whenever we press this button, all of the water is gonna start flowing. But wait, before we do that, we should probably build some walls so that the water doesn't like go down to the jungle floor. Oh yeah. Oh, that's true. I don't wanna be known as the person who drowned the jungle. Yeah, it's gonna look like our house peed on the jungle. Uh, if that's how you wanna think about it, sure. Yeah, I don't know. That wouldn't be a good look. All of the lions are gonna get mad at us. But anyways, there we go. We got a wall done. And now what we gotta do is hit this button. And guys, check it out. The water is going to start flowing. Let's go. Awesome. Okay. Wait, wait, is this gonna flood our house? And No, 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 it's not gonna flood our house, but here, let me press the button again to get rid of the water. The next thing we gotta do is grab a few hoppers, and we could just put a bunch of hoppers down over here on the floor, and we could use these to automatically collect all of the crops as well. Oh! Oh, yeah, and to stop the water from going down to the pathway, we could put pressure plates on top of the hoppers. And, ooh, that's a great idea. That is actually a banger idea. But here, let me grab a chest real quick and just put that down right over here like this. Is this where all of our crops are going to go? And, yep, this is where all of the crops are going to go after going through all the hoppers. So, uh, anyways, it's pretty much done now. Should we give it a test? Uh, oh, I see you've got a hoe. All right, let's put it to the test. Let's go, let's go. Oh, wait, we got to... Uh water and oh yeah okay right 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 we need to actually water the farm i forgot about that okay um hmm, let's see how are we gonna do this everyone grab a water bucket it's time to do some watering i think what we could do is just like put a big line of water going down the middle of the farm oh ruby you made mud wait i didn't know that mud was a thing i can do that uh, wait <laughs> i don't think mud is very useful um, we don't really need mud in our farm we need water not mud okay here guys let's just put a little bit of water every few blocks inside of our farm so we can have like some water there a little bit of water over uh right here have a little bit in the middle like that and okay i think this should be enough to hydrate all of the crops over there let's put a little bit more water on this floor too uh, ruby's mudding the entire farmland ruby we don't need mud what are you doing i'm practicing for when we get cute little piggies <laughs> what oh yeah i guess they are gonna like playing around in mud all right but anyways i think this should actually be enough water for the entire farm there we go now it's time to actually put this thing to the test let me grab a hoe real quick guys it's hoeing time we gotta hoe all of this land yeah. let's go let's go all right i'll Start up here at the top. Let's go, yay! Let's go, let's go. Wait, actually, here, you guys hoe, I'll plant seeds. So, uh, what type of seeds should we plant? What about just some wheat? Okay. And ooh, also, what about carrots and potatoes? Mm, what about beets? What, Ruby, did you just say beets? Why, why would we want beets? Those have like very low nutritional value. They give you like half a hunger bar. They make me happy. <laughs> well, they, they, they don't make my hunger bar happy. So, uh, let's just use the other types of plants. Aww. Okay. We can have one beet, one beet in this entire farm. But anyways, this should be enough to test it out. Let's just put a little bit of plants on each floor of the farm real quick. There we go. And okay, guys, here we go. Let's just imagine like all of the crops are fully grown. If I press this button now, all of the crops are going to get automatically harvested. Wait, wait, wait. What happened? It got stuck on the water holes. Hold on. We need to turn it off and back on again. And, oh, oh, did you put slabs on the water holes? Okay, okay, good idea. Hopefully that stops the water from getting stuck. Let's try one more time. Let me plant a bunch of seeds again. There we go. Let's just plant some on each floor. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, press it. Let's go. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's see. Is this going to work? And yo, it's working flawlessly. Let's go. And here we go. It's going to get collected in the hoppers. And yes, check it out, guys. We're getting the food inside of our chest. Sweet. Water is so mesmerizing to watch. Let's go. That is actually sick. But here, let's turn off the water for now. What we got to do next is let's have the redstone line come all the way down here into the start of our area because we don't want to go all the way up here every time we want to harvest the farm. So there we go. That's looking pretty good. And uh, let me also grab a button. We can just put one button over here for activating it. And oh, wait, here. Let me also add a few repeaters so that the redstone signal doesn't fade out. There we go. Yep, I'll go ahead and get things planted. All right, there's the wheat. Now time for the carrots. All right, sick. Here, I'll start putting down all of the walls. We can put a bunch of glass around the redstone to make sure that it's protected. Okay, and there's the start of my dome. And wait, 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 wait you're building a dome for the ceiling? Uh, isn't that what you wanted me to do? Uh, I don't know, but a dome looks kind of cool. I guess we can use a dome. Yep, you love domes, don't you? Uh, I mean, I, I wouldn't say love. I mean, they're kind of cool, though. Ah, I just broke one of the plants. Hey, 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 watch it. Guys, I'm sorry, I accidentally stepped on it. There we go, it's fixed now. All right, but anyways, it's a pretty good looking dome so far. Let's just go ahead and finish rounding it off over here. And oh, wait, hold on, guys. Since this is a dome, that means we're going to have quite a bit of space up at the top of the farm. Should we build something else up here? Uh, like what? What about our <gasps> very own animal farm? We can have like our own cows and sheeps and pigs up here. <gasps> that sounds perfect. That 
exactly. We won't have to go hunting every time we want to eat meat. Oh, yeah. Then Ruby's happy and I'm happy so I don't have to go hunting all the time. And I can put my face into the sheep directly. And I can make steak sausages. Let's go. Why are you so obsessed with steak sausage? Steak sausage is so good. Have you guys even tried it before? I can't say that I have. No. All right. But anyways, this is a pretty interesting looking dome. I don't know why we uh, have it uh, peeking up over here. But I guess this works. Now it's time to actually make the animal area. So uh, for the animal area, I'm thinking what we do is grab some stairs. And we can have a staircase over here off to the back of the build that just goes up to the second floor. So here, I'm kind of just thinking something like this could work. And then we can dig into the dome over here. Guys, what do you think of this? Is this looking good? Wait, that does look really good. Let's go. I got the Ruby approval. All right, now it's time to just build the roof over here. So there we go. Okay, and here's the dome. It's kind of organic looking. And ooh, that dome is looking pretty cool. I like it. All right, but anyways, now it's time to build an area for all of our animals. So uh, we don't really have a lot of room up here, but that's fine. All we got to do is put a little bit of grass down. And wait a minute. Hold on, guys. If we're putting the grass down, that's going to cover up the farm. There's not going to be any sunlight going to the farm. Why don't we make the animals below? And okay, actually, yeah, I think that might be a better idea. Okay, everyone, reverse, reverse. We're going back. Everyone, let's build the animal farm underneath the crop farm. Okie dokie. Oh, this staircase is going to go down? Yep, yep, yep. Let's just have the staircase go the opposite way. We can have it going down now. So there we go, just like that. Yeah, this should be good. The animals don't need a lot of light, so they can be uh, living down here in the basement. Oh, yeah, it should be fine. And then we can also make, like, separate pins for all the different animals. Yep, we can have cows, sheep, all the good animals in here. So first things first, let's go ahead and make a nice big platform for the farm area. Let's just have um, a nice big grass platform for all the animals to sit on. Okay, should I start fencing everything up? And yeah, yeah, let's do that. Here, should we build the walls of this room out of some more glass? Mm, we don't have to encase the entire thing. We can just use fences. And Okay, okay, yeah, I guess we can use fences. You know, we can have the animals getting some fresh air. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. Yep, 100%. But here, let's go ahead and fill the floor with a bunch of grass still. There's a lot of grass that we need to fill. Here we go, here we go. I'm filling it all in. I'm the grass speedrunner. Let's go! There we go. It's all filled in. All right, now the next thing we need to do is set up all of those fences. So let's go ahead and grab a few jungle fences and let's just put those all around over here. Ooh, this looks pretty good. And ooh, wait a minute, guys. I know how we can make this even fancier looking. Let me grab a few jungle stairs and check this out. We're gonna put them down over here like this. Check that out. Doesn't that look fancy? Oh yeah, we're Mr. Fancy Pants right now. Yep, check it out. Let's go. All right, that's looking pretty sick. I'm gonna do this on all of these pillars over here just to make it look nice. Okie dokie. There we go. That's looking pretty good. Nice. All right, now we just gotta put a few more fences over here on this area. And whoa, wait, did you put trap doors here? Oh, that's looking very fancy. Yep, I'm fancifying this, making it really nice. Whoa, okay, okay. That is looking kind of crazy. But anyways, I think now it's about time we start adding some animal pins. So, um, hmm, what type of animals are we gonna have in here? We should probably choose the animals we want before we make the fences. So, uh, what are we thinking? Chicken. Sheep. And, oh, oh, yeah. Chicken, chicken's a good idea. Uh, sheep, yeah, yeah, definitely a good idea. Um, ooh, we can also have some pigs in here and some cows. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, chickens. And yeah, yeah, Cam already called that chicken, but, um, I think that should be everything, right? We got sheep, pig, cow, and chicken. What about pigs? Well, Ruby, are, are, you, are you losing your memory? I already said pig. Huh? What? Oh, uh, I don't remember. Guys, what about an emu? We can also have this guy in here. He's like a big chicken. He what? It's an emu. Yo, look at him. <laughs> this guy looks awesome. It's not really nice to call people emu. What? No, no, Ruby. His name is literally emu. That, that's like the name of the species. Oh. Yo, look at him. He's like looking at me weird. <laughs> this guy looks cool. And, oh, Ruby, he's trying to eat you. Oh, never mind. Wait, hey, what? He's, what? Why? He was just chasing you, but you're good now. And oh, there's water leaking. Oh, we fixed it. All right. Wait, don't we need to give them water to drink? Nah, it's fine. They got water dripping from the ceiling. It's good. But anyways. Now it's time to build some animal pins. So let's go ahead and just build a few pins over here. We can have uh, one pin here for the chickens. Well, the chickens don't need a big pin because, you know, they're kind of small mobs. We can just have a bunch of chickens in over there like that. We can have another pin right over here for, uh, hmm, what mob should we put next to the chickens? Ooh, what about the emus? They're like chickens, but bigger. There we go. We can have the emus here. Okay, I don't know about that one, but sure. What do you mean? Emus are awesome. Emus are scary. How are they scary? Look at them. They look like big <laughs> turkeys. They're literally just oversized turkeys. No, just think about it. They can peck out your eyes. They have teeth on their tongue. They're scary. Yeah, but they also taste good, I think. What? We can have them every night for dinner, but here, let me go ahead and put in a few sheep over here next to the emus. Wait, wait, wait. No, the sheep are not going next to the emu. Don't do that. They'll stress them 
them out. <laughs> Remember, I don't think the sheep really care. They're probably friends with the emus. The quality of their wool will go down if they get stressed out, okay? What? Okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. We can put the sheep um over here. Yeah, how about this? They get a smaller pin, though. Uh, okay, fine, whatever. Actually, wait, they can have an even bigger pin. There we go. Hold on a minute. There's an emu over here. I need to get him out. Hey, yo, emu, get out of here. There we go. And all right, sheep, you guys can go inside of this pin over here. I need to move all the sheep over. Uh, what happened and why did the emu escape? And, oh, wait, Ruby, this was the emu that I spawned first. He, he's been escaped. The emu escaped. It's not emo, it's emu with a U. And Kim, why is there water flooding in here? Ah, uh, don't worry about it. Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. Let me get rid of these few sheep over here. And now we can spawn in the cows inside of this pin. There we go. And guys, we only need one more pin for the sheep. Where should we put the sheep? Um, we should put the sheep right over here. All right, this looks like a good spot. Let's put in a little pin right there. And then let's have in a few sheep. There we go. And all right, nice. This area is looking good. That is a pig. Oh, oh yeah, right. Pig, wrong animal. Oh, I thought you were going to move the sheep away from the emos. I did, I did, I did. I moved them over here. Look, now they're next to the cows. Okay, okay, good, good. All right, but anyways, wow, Kim, you're making this area look very fancy. Yep, fancy of fine. I am on it. What the heck? Wait, 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 wait. I have an idea for the pigs. And, wait, well, what is it? What's your idea? Wait, this needs to be dirt. And, oh, wait, hold on. Are you trying to give them mud? Okay, okay, let's turn all of this into dirt real quick. And, yo, you're muddifying it. Let's go. This is so much fun. Oh, wait, hold on. The, the, the pigs are already kind of here. How are we going to replace all this floor with mud? Very Carefully. What if you hoe it and then jump on it? Oh, yeah, we could hoe it and then jump on it. You're right. Oh, that's actually a pretty good idea. I didn't think of that. All right, but anyways, how do I get out of this place? Now, Cam, you built the ceiling too low. Why don't we build the ceiling out of slabs instead? Uh, because if we build it out of slabs, then we'll be uh, in the dirt. Uh, just uh, you, don't worry about it. Uh, well, how else am I going to get inside of the pin? I was planning on putting a carpet here so that we can, like, climb into the pin. But now that the ceiling is like this, we can't go in. Crouch. Oh, oh, yeah, I guess we can crouch. But that's annoying. Okay, fine, fine. I guess we can have it at the cost of looking good. Um Oh, let me make you into mud. Whoa, wait, Ruby, you're really making all of this into mud, but here, while you're doing that, I'll go ahead and put down a little chest over here with a bunch of farming gear, so, uh... Oh, wait, I should probably put a chest up here as well on the normal farm. And, oh, gosh, guys! Uh, oh, we, we have an emu in our house now. Oh, uh, get rid of him! What? I, I, I like him. He's kind of cute. We should just keep him as a pet. No, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait! And, oh, look at that. He's, like, pecking me. He's awesome. He's gonna peck out my eyes while I sleep! He's not gonna peck out your eyes... Oh, oh. <laughs> no, no, you're fine. You're fine. It'll be perfectly good. But here, what I'm gonna do now is build a little farming chest area right over here with a bunch of farming gear inside of it. And I guess the only farming gear we really need is, uh, I don't know, bone meal and like hose. Easy for you to say. I'm gonna put down some hay. What, Ruby? Why would we need hay in the farming gear chest? We have hay in the farm itself. Oh, uh, that's what I'm doing. Wait, what? Oh, you're putting hay inside of the downstairs area? I was talking about the gear in the. Okay, what? this is getting confusing. Oh, sorry. I wasn't listening. I was too busy looking at the pigs. What? Okay, well, this is some, some pretty nice hay over here. Let's also build a little farming gear chest down here on this floor. Let me just uh, put some blocks out over here and then build a little wall out of some glass. Do you think that cows drink milk, by the way? And, no, no, Ruby, they don't drink milk. They, like, make milk. I think they drink water. Oh. That's like humans drinking sweat. Ew! Exactly. Yeah, it's kind of gross. But here, I'm gonna put a bunch of animal stuff that we need for the animals inside of this chest over here. I guess we can have um, a little bit of hay. Ooh, we need some seeds for all of the chickens. What type of seeds do chickens like best, guys? Um, I think they like wheat seeds the best. Okay, okay. And wait, guys, why don't we give them a seed cake? This is probably their favorite food. And uh, uh, Kim, wh what did you just do? Um, the weather's nice, ain't it? Uh, what's up? Did here? you just get rid of one of the emus? Wait, wait. Uh, Are you kidding me? Was it the emu that was uh, the pet? Uh, oh no. Did you actually get rid of the pet? Pretty nice weather. Um, let's see. Uh, the why did you get rid of him? I was gonna name him. Uh, it's pretty sunny. It looks cloudy. It's uh, pretty nice day. Are you just ignoring me right now? What the heck? Right, listen, I was hired by Ruby. Okay, okay. You know what? Hold on. I'm spawning in another emu over here. Don't tell Ruby about this one. I'm, I'm gonna name this one as well. I'm gonna grab a name tag and an anvil, and uh, I'm gonna name this one Jim. There we go. We got an emu named Jim now. He's my pet. Damn, you better stay away from Jim this time. He'll eat you. Uh, uh, don't worry. I'll stay away from him. Okay, emu. Fly, be free. Go, 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 go. Wait, uh, Ruby, are you trying to get rid of all the emus? What are you doing? I'm setting them free. Ruby, fill in. Wow, no, no. Don't set them free. Look at them. They're even like uh, putting down eggs and stuff. We can use that. Uh. I don't like them. I don't understand why you hate emus so much. Look, they just gave us an emu egg. Look how big this thing is. Yo, we got a baby emu now. Wait, he's kind of cute, but but I don't like emus. <laughs> this guy looks awesome. What are you talking about? He looks like a watermelon. <laughs> oh yeah, he kind of does look like a watermelon. But here, I guess let's uh, let's put him in the in the area. We can put him in the pin with the rest of the emus. Oh no, I just hit him by accident. Oh, okay, he's running crazy. Whoa, the way he walks is funny. <laughs> yeah, he walked kind of cool. But hold on, guys, I need to finish putting stuff inside of this chest. We need the hay bales. We need some uh, seed cakes, some normal seeds, and uh, what else? What else? Put in some shears and some buckets. 
carrots. Oh, yeah. We also need some carrots for the pigs. Oh, true. But here, let me grab a few shears and buckets as well. We can have some buckets here for milking the cows and then some shears for getting the wool from the sheep. And there we go. I think that is all of the gear that we need. But hold on a minute, Ruby. You want to see something cool? What? Check this out. I'm about to make one of these sheep really cool looking. Let me just get a name tag real quick. And there we go. Check it out. It's rainbow now. Oh, cute. Hold on, I wonder what's gonna happen if I try shearing it. Yo! And, oh, it just dropped white wool. You were very brave. Yeah, I would be scared the world would explode. Why would the world explode? It's just a sheep. It's not just a sheep. That was a rainbow sheep literally changing colors. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, it was kind of a magical sheep. But anyways, I guess uh, this farm area is done. We still have this baby emu running around because I accidentally punched him earlier. But uh, anyways, I think uh, I think we should be good. Yeah, just leave him alone. He'll calm down eventually. All right, and wait, hold on. Is Jim still around here? Uh, Jim, where are you? Who's Jim? Uh, wait, hold on a minute. Uh, Ruby, do you have anything to do with the disappearance of Jim by any chance? Who's Jim? You, you, you know who Jim is. Don't lie. Nope, I don't know who Jim is at all. Uh, are you sure about that? Because you sound like you uh, put Jim out of the house. Did you kick him out or something? No, I didn't kick him out. Did I kick him out? I don't remember. I don't think I did it. Did you eliminate him? No, no, I don't think so. I just don't remember. Cam, did you eliminate him? No, the only thing that I done was what Ruby told me to. What, did Ruby tell you to eliminate him? No, she told me to get rid of the first one. What happened to Jim? He's the second one. Maybe he didn't like you, so he left. Woohoo, so sad. Hey, okay, well, you know what? I'm gonna find another one. And in fact, I'm gonna uh, use a lead to attach this one over here so he can't escape. What the heck? So now the only explanation for him leaving is um, if you eliminate him. And I'm gonna name him Jeb underscore. Okay. All right, but anyways, Kim, what are you doing over here? Is this a tractor? Uh, Yeah, I'm building. I'm building a tractor. Can I ride it? I'm trying. I don't, I don't understand what's going on. Hold on, wait. There's a tractor over here. Yo, wait. This one already works. Hold on. I'm about to ride it on the grass. Let's go. Ah, what the heck? How did I fall from that? I'm on the first floor of the farm now. Hold on a minute. Let me make my way back up over here. I'm gonna harvest all these crops with the tractor. Let's go. Oh, it's not harvesting the crops. Why isn't it working? I'm trying to make one to harvest the crops and it's not working. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. I think these tractors are a bit tricky. This one was kind of hard to park. Um. Well, anyways, guys, now that the farm is done, what's the next thing that we should build in? Oh, I see Jeb underscore over here still happy and alive. Ruby, did you just punch him? Ruby, stop, stop. He's in the way of the stairs. I'm not trying to punch him. Th th just move him out of the way. <laughs> you don't have to hit him. I wasn't trying to hit him. It just happened. What the heck? Okay, okay, but whoa, wait, I see you're building some stairs here. What are we gonna build on this floor? Mm, I'm not sure yet, but I wanted to do it. All right, all right, and wait a minute, guys. Why don't we build our bedrooms up here? We don't have bedrooms yet. We really don't have anywhere to actually sleep. Wait, you're right. We don't. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna need to have some sort of place to actually, like, sleep and recover, because otherwise, this isn't gonna be a good shelter. So, uh, here, the first things first, we should probably build the walls. What are we gonna build the walls out of? Just normal wood? Probably, yeah. Yeah, just wood and then glass windows, yeah. All right, all right. That works here. The first thing we should probably do is turn all of this floor into full blocks, because right now, the floor is kind of slabs, and that's gonna make it annoying to build. All right, there we go. All right, check it now, guys, now all of the ceiling is made out of actual full blocks, not just slabs. This should make it a lot easier to build. Awesome. Well, uh, I'm calling my room right here. Let me make the wall. Okay, okay. I'll build my... Oh, wait, you're making your room so big. What the heck? Well, there's a bunch of space and there's three of us. All right, all right. Well, I'm gonna build my room back over here. I've, I've claimed this land. To be honest, I didn't want to live on top of the chimney, so... And, oh, wait, Ruby, I think you're gonna have to live with the chimney. What? Oh, I guess my room will be the warmest. Whatever. It's gonna be the warmest and it's also gonna be, um, uh, probably not the best air quality. What the heck? You chose it. You wanted to build that thing. All right. Well, anyways, I'm building my bedroom right now. This is actually looking really nice. I've got a very nice view of the jungle. I've got a big glass wall that I can just look at the jungle and I can also check in on all of our crops. It's looking pretty good. Yeah, I've got an ocean view right now. It's looking sick. Ooh, that's looking pretty awesome here. I'm gonna go ahead and build my ceiling real quick. I've got fume exhaust. And Oh, yeah. Uh, you know what, Ruby? You can fix that easily. What you gotta do is just, uh, how about we just have the smoke go off this way rather than go in your room? Um, I mean, we can, yeah. We can just have it go off this way like this. There we go. And yeah, check it out. Now the smoke is gonna come out of this exhaust rather than go into your room. Okay. That works, but anyways, now it's time for me to finish my ceiling. Let me go ahead and put a bunch of this wood over here. This place is actually looking sick. Let's go. And all right, there we go. I think the base of my room is done. Now the next thing I need to do is actually set up all of my equipment. So first things first, let me grab a bed and uh, I'll just put down my bed right over, uh, hmm, which I should I put it on the farm or over here? I think I'll put it here. And then let me grab a bedside cabinet and I'm just gonna put this jungle bedside cabinet right there. And then, ooh, I'm also gonna have a bookshelf on the other side of my bed so I can read books. 
There we go. That's looking pretty sick. Wait, what kind of books do you like to read, Dash? Oh, Ruby, I like reading uh, the Protection series. Have you read that one? Protection 1 to 4 are, like, really good. They're my favorites. Uh, what? What? Are you telling me you've never read Protection before? Here, I'll, I'll get you started. Here's Protection 1. Uh, uh, no, I'm fine. I don't, I don't, oh, thank you. What? I, I thought you were a reader. No, I was, just I don't read in, uh, Enchanted books. You don't read Enchanted books? Why? I, I just don't think that they're all that interesting. I don't know. I think they're fascinating, personally. I really like the story plot where, like, the enchantment, like, almost won at the end, and then, like, the big dragon came around, and finally, like, uh, like almost, the dragon almost won, and then, like, the antagonist of the story pulled up and, like, took out the dragon. It was crazy. Oh, uh, wow. Did that really happen, or did you just, uh, make that up? What? No, that, that really happened. Just, just read the book. Protection 1 is very a very good book. Okay, I'll read it. Alright, well, anyways, I'm gonna build a balcony on my bedroom. I think a balcony could look really cool. I'm just gonna build out a little bit over here this way. I know we've already got our balcony inside of the kitchen, but this is gonna be my very own private balcony. And wait a minute, hold on. Actually, this is gonna be a little bit more than a balcony. I just got a cool idea. Wait, what? what's your idea? Uh, you'll see in a moment. Hold on. I just gotta build a really long uh, set of blocks over here. Here we go, and then let me just put some fence around here just to make sure that no one falls off. Alright, alright, this is looking pretty good, and now let me go ahead and grab an airplane, because this right here is gonna be my plane runway. Let's go! Yo, guys, check it out. I've got a plane runway. Wait, why do you have a plane runway in your bedroom? Uh, I don't know, in case I ever want to fly around the jungle. F fly? We have grappling hooks. Yeah, but flying is so much cooler. Imagine all of the cool stuff I can see while flying. Yeah, flying may be cool, but it's not as cool as what I got in my bedroom. And wait, wait, what do you have in your bedroom? Hold on, I want to take a look at this and... Whoa, okay, your bedroom's looking kind of smaller than I thought. I'm not going to lie. And, whoa, what the heck is this? It's right, so my gaming computer. You got a gaming setup? Whoa, you, you, that is so many monitors, Kim. You got to go outside and touch some grass every now and then. Actually, I was thinking about adding just a few more. And, uh, well, Kim, you don't need this many monitors. How, how are we even going to get electricity for this in the jungle? Oh, uh, I have uh, I have these. Oh, wait, are those solar panels? Yeah, I'm going to put them on the ceiling to power the setup. And, okay, okay, that's actually a pretty good idea. I'm not going to lie, but wait, Ruby, can I check out your bedroom? What do you got going in here? And oh wait, you haven't really built much so far. What is this? Uh, this is something that is pretty important to me. Oh, wait, actually, I didn't see this part. You have built quite a bit. Yo, you got a little staircase from the balcony to your bedroom. That is awesome looking. Well, you said that you had a balcony and I wanted a balcony, so I didn't have any room. So you just connected to this balcony. Okay, that's a pretty cool idea, but hold on a minute. Uh, do you guys want to come check out my plane runway? It's pretty cool. You guys want to take it for a spin? Sure. Take it for a spin right now? And yeah, yeah, but hold on. Wait, uh, I think there's only a one-seater plane. Let me grab another plane real quick. I think I can get a two-seater if I uh, look hard enough. And ooh, yeah, yeah, large plane. Let me grab this and just put that down over there. Yo, check it out. This one's got two seats. Uh, does it have an engine in it? Uh, no, no, no. Wait, hold on. Let me put an engine. Let me just get this engine. And uh, I also got to get a bit of coal. Let me just put the engine in uh, right over there. And then uh, everyone, yeah, hop in. Let's go. I bet. I'm in. Okay, I'm on my way. All right, all right. But wait, Ruby, I think it's only a two-seater. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to fit. Aww. Okay, I'll just go next time. All right, all right, but here, Cam, we're about to take off. Let's go, let's go. The plane is ramping up. I, let me just turn on the engine real quick, and all right, we're going, let's go! Ooh. Yeah, this thing is actually sick. We can fly around the jungle. Wait, hold on. Maybe we can find our way back. Hold on. We got to go find the boats that we came from. Uh, I don't want to get lost again. Maybe we should just turn around. And, no, no, no. We're going to find where we came from. And Okay, this thing is kind of tricky to fly. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Hold on. Ah! Yeah, let's just turn back around. I'm trying. I'm trying. This is so difficult to fly. Dash, don't crash. I'm not trying to. And, uh, oh, wait. wait well, hold on. Where's our house? Did we get lost again? Oh, no. Where's Ruby at? Oh, no. Left, 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 left. Go left. left go okay, left. okay. Hold on. I'm going left. Uh, I think I need to go this way. And I, I can't. I don't see anything. You gotta keep going left. You, uh, you flew very far. This way? Okay. I, I, ah, what's going on? Dash, go left. Right there's the house. We're gonna get lost. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, okay. Here, we just gotta ramp up the engines. Uh, let's go a little bit faster. There we go. And, okay, we're, I think there's max speed. Let's go. Whee, let's go. Yo, Ruby, check it out. We're barrel rolling. But wait, what now? I'm getting out. What the heck? Cam, you don't even have a parachute. I think I'm glad I didn't go on that plane. Yeah. Uh, wait, I'm about to get lost. I'm gonna crash. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, guys, my plane just blew up. Oh, um, that... That's not good. Are you okay? I'm fine, but I need to spawn in another plane. Ew, good thing I got out early. Maybe you should take a break on planes right now, huh? Um, nah, I just gotta practice a little bit more. All right, there we go. I got another one. All right, well, I think it's time to put a roof on this bedroom area. <laughs> and yeah, we've kind of got roofs on our own bedrooms, but we don't have one big roof for the entire bedroom floor. So yeah, let's go ahead and add that in next. Let me just break this ceiling that I've got for my own bedroom. And all right, let's build this ceiling for the entire bedroom floor. But wait, wait, hold on, guys. My bedroom isn't still fully done yet. I need to add one more thing in here. Oh, uh, like what? I need to bring my emu up here. Aww. 
Wait, wait, hold on. Is he still down here? And yo, Jeb underscore is still chilling over here. And <gasps> guys, he laid an egg. Yo! Oh, oh, I didn't spawn in a baby. All right, but anyways, Jeb underscore, it's time to move. We, we, we got a new location for you. Let me grab a lead real quick. And all right, follow me up this way. Welcome to your new home. We, we gotta go. We gotta go. Come on, Jeb underscore. He's not really following me right now. He kind of just goes wherever he wants to go. He's got like a mind of his own. Come on, we gotta go this way. Let's go. Oh my gosh, he's not following me at all. Maybe he don't like you. Yeah, maybe. No, no, he, he likes me. He likes me. He just doesn't like you guys since your bedrooms are here too. What? He's probably scared of you guys. That's probably why he doesn't want to come upstairs. And oh, here we go. Here we go. Come on. Come on. We just got to go up here. No, he doesn't want to come up. Mm, I don't think that's my fault. No, Ruby, this is 100% your fault. If you didn't hire Cam to kill his brother, then he would have been chill coming up here. But you just had to eliminate him. I didn't do that. I was hired. You got Cam to do it. So that's just as bad. Uh, I will neither confirm nor deny. Okay, you know what? Hold on. This is going to be uh, air cargo. Uh, emu, we're going We're going through the skies. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What? Check it out, guys. I got a flying emu. Yo! Emus can fly today. Let's go! Uh... Can they fly normally? Hold on, wait. I'm going to jump scare Ruby. Let me just uh, lower the emu down here. Wait, Ruby, look up. Mm, okay. And uh, what the heck? It's a flying emu. Let's go. <laughs> wait, uh, can someone place some water in my bedroom? No. Why? So I, I, I just need someone to place some water on my runway. Oh, wait. Actually, I can do it myself. Let me just grab some water and just go down here and then place the water right over here. Oh, no. That didn't work. Wait, let me place the water on this fence over here. There we go. No, it's still not working. Wait, where did my emu go? No, wait. Emu, where are you? Oh, oh, oh. He's hanging on the fence. Oh, no. Oh, no. Tough luck, buddy. Actually, wait, wait, this is good, this is good. All I gotta do is just uh, put some water down here, and then let me grab another lead to grab my emu. All right, emu, here we go. We're about to land. We're about to land. Let's just go right here, and oh, okay, he didn't land in the water, but he barely took any damage. I'll say that's a success. And there we go. Emu has been successfully moved. Now I gotta move him into my room. All right, come here. Uh, where did he go? What? Uh, he's in the plane. Oh, no. Guys, the emu just took my plane. Oh, well, what did I tell you? You can't trust an emu. You know what? I'm just gonna break the plane. There we go. All right, Emu, follow me. We gotta go. Follow me. You're coming here. And now let me just attach him to this fence. And there we go. I finally got him in my room. That took so long. All right, well, anyway, my bedroom is completely done. And ooh, all right, all right, hold on. I want to check it out. How many monitors did you settle on? Let's see. Let's what? What? You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight monitors. And they're all ginormous. Yeah, so I can, uh, all four of these are just for um, watching TV. And then uh, this one's for uh, yeah, watching TV. Uh, and then this one's for, um, playing games and this one's for talking to friends and this one's for listening to music. And, oh, nice. You got a whole monitor just for listening to music. And, okay, hold on, Ruby. Can I check out your room now? Let's see. Last time I came here, it was kind of just like a staircase to get to the balcony. And, uh, why do you have a car in here? What? Yeah, I have a car and a carpet. That's all I need. Whoa. Okay, okay. That's kind of cool. And, ooh, this is actually kind of nice. I'm not going to lie. You got, like, the window blinds here with, like, the bed. And, ooh, whoa, I just realized the pattern you have on the floor. It's like a heart. Yep, it sure is. Uh, this is just meant to be super comfy. That's all. That's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. But wait, what's this thing on the wall? A painting? Oh. Yes, it's a painting. Hey! Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. Wait, hold on. You should use this painting. <gasps> Yo, wait. I just got a really cool painting. Let me try getting it again. Wait, what? Uh, it, it was something. Hold on. You'll see in a moment. Yo, check it out. It's a gorilla with sunglasses. Oh, no. It's going to eat my face off. It's not going to eat your face off. This kind of looks like that gorilla <laughs> that we were trying to capture earlier. <laughs> Okay, I, found it. Okay, wait, I broke it. I broke it. I, I, I want to put this painting in my room. Though. That painting is sick. Gonna go up over here and all right, Emu, we've got a new companion. It's a painting. Come on, come on. Let me just get this gorilla painting. Here we go. Why does it take so long to get this gorilla one? Hey, there we go. No, I got it. And then I broke it by accident. Are you kidding me? Look here, I'm gonna get it again though. Let me just keep on placing these paintings down. Come on. Yes, I got it. All right, perfect. Now I have a gorilla painting. Yo, what? That's sick. I know, right? And, and yo, wait, we just got another one. We got two now. Back to back. Hold on, wait. Can we get three? Can we get three? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yo. Wait, Ruby, you should come in my room. We have some cool stuff in here. Uh, no. Wait, why? Why? It's really nice. And, oh, no. We're about to get a fourth There's one. There's going to be a gorilla painting again. Yeah, there's literally not a single gorilla painting in here, Ruby. Yeah, because you have two. No, there, there is, there isn't two gorilla paintings in here either. <laughs> Wait, how many do we have now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How did we get this many? Um. I'm lucky, I guess. What the heck? Okay, well, anyways, I think my bedroom should be about done now. Let me just add a door over here on the balcony. There we go. Now it's done. Now you have eight. Wait, did you just add another one? Yo, above the bed. That's kind of nice. All right, but anyways, is everyone's bedrooms done? Yep, yeah, mine's done. Mine is also done. And ooh, all right, all right. Well, anyways, with that being complete, guys, I'm pretty sure our entire treehouse is done. This thing is awesome. Okay. Let's go check it out, guys. This is actually such an awesome treehouse. This is probably one of the craziest treehouses 
houses ever. Yep. I think it's the best. Yeah, this is really nice. Wait, I want to look at it from the outside. It looks absolutely insane. We've got everything we need here. It's huge. All right, well, I'm going to my room. I want to play some video games. All right, all right. You know what? I'm going to go do some exploring in the jungle. I want to go see what's going on down there. I'm going to fly Dash's plane. And, well, uh, okay, you have fun with that. But here, let me go ahead and grab my gear really quick since I'm going in the jungle. I'm going to grab this ghillie suit since I think it's going to make me super hidden. And all right, here we go. Time for another jungle adventure. And all right, here we go. Let's see what's going on in the jungle. And wait a minute. Hold on. Did I just see an emu here? And no way. It's Jim. Wait, Ruby, you weren't lying. You actually didn't mess with Jim. He just fell in the water over here. Why would I lie? I don't know. I thought you hired Kim to eliminate him again. But oh, man, I'm so happy to see you again, Jim. I guess you can just uh, live out here for now. Oh, good thing the crossbows aren't attacking him. But anyways, let's see what's going on around the jungle. I want to see if I can find any more gorillas. Since I'm wearing a ghillie suit, it should be pretty easy this time since I blend in with all the leaves. Come on, any gorillas? Ooh, wait, hold on. Let me grab a banana. I could probably attract the gorilla with a banana. Any gorillas around here? Hello. Wait a minute. Hold on. There's a gorilla right over there. Okay, okay. This is my chance. This is my chance to actually catch a gorilla this time. And, okay, it's coming closer to me. Wait, R Ruby, what are you doing? What the heck? What? Did, did you just fly my plane into the tree? Let's go. Ruby, I almost had that gorilla. Oh my gosh. Why would you mess that up? Now I have to chase after him. Come here. Come here. Come here. I was just trying Help. Well, you didn't help that much, but wait, hold on. Can you help me chase after him now? He's running away. Uh, yeah, I can. Come here, gorilla. We're gonna get you. Wait, he's so close. He's so close. Okay, hold on, hold on. I need to grab a lead. I need to grab a lead. Get him! Come here, gorilla. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> this gorilla is gonna be ours. He's gonna be my new pet. He's gonna replace my emu. Come on. Come on. I'm gonna try to chase him back to you. Come here, gorilla. Come here. Come on. Come on, come on. We just gotta keep going. He's right over here, I think. Yeah, there he is. Okay, I just gotta attach this lead onto that gorilla. Come here. Come on. And wait, wait, hold on. I, I just lost sight of him. Where did he go? I think he went underneath these leaves over here. Where is he? Where is he? Uh, he's on top of a tree, and I'm stuck in a tree. So. Wait, wait, he's on top of a tree. Hold on, hold on. I'm coming up. I'm coming up. I'm, just don't lose sight of him. Okay. And wait, wait, Ruby, do you still see him? Where is he? No, I don't. Look up. And uh, uh, wait, is he on top of one of these trees over Hi. here? I No, I am. I lost him. I got oh, stuck. Oh, no. Did we really just lose another gorilla? Oh, gosh. I thought I saw one over here, but it's just a fly. Are you kidding me? How did you mistake a fly for a gorilla? I don't know. It was just moving around, but... Wait a minute. Hold on. Uh, where did we come from again? Where's our house at? Oh, come on. Wait, wait. Did we actually just lose our house? You gotta be kidding me. Oh, no. That was pretty crazy. And if you want to watch the next video, then click on the video on the screen right now.